Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Um, today I want to show you how to make your own PNG um, phrases or words or text in Inkscape so that you can export it into other programs, um, you know, like um, Canva, for instance, to make your own little designs. Like I wanted to make this, let's see here, invitation. It's about to get wild. And I made it in Canva, which I love because I can do for free. But Canva did not have this kind of brush stroke font that I wanted, so I had to make my own. And I needed it to be a PNG font, that way it doesn't have a background. I can you know, put this anywhere that I want on here, and I'm not, I don't have like a white background around it. So I want to show you how to do that. I did it all in Inkscape. If you don't have Inkscape, uh, just head over to Google, type in Inkscape download, and it's this first one right here. Just click it, and you can choose whether you want to install for Windows or Mac. Uh, it's a free download. It's a safe download. It's not going to put any viruses or anything on your computer, so go grab that. Then get over here into Inkscape. Um, I'm going to delete this so that I can show you exactly how I made it. Oops. Okay. A couple things to know about Inkscape when you're getting started. Um, when you open up a blank project, you're going to get this screen. This is whenever you save something, it needs to be within this work area for it to save correctly. To make your screen bigger or larger, um, larger hit the plus sign on your computer, smaller hit the minus sign, it's going to rescale your work area. Okay, today we are only working with text. So to enter some text, you're going to come over here into this text menu, click that, and then click your screen. Don't just start typing because if you just start typing, you see I got all different kinds of arrows popping up. So click your text and then click your screen and you'll get a cursor. Uh, so wild was the main word that I was wanting to make. This is not the font that I wanted to use though. So to change my font, while I'm still in here, while I still have my text icon highlighted, I can come up here and change my font. Any font that you have on your computer um, will show up in Inkscape. Inkscape does not have its own fonts. You have to have the font on your computer for it to be in Inkscape. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, if you don't know how to download fonts onto your computer, um, I have another video for you. You can learn how to do that. I like to get all of my fonts from Creative Fabrica. I love, love, love it. Um, the fonts are just, I mean, limitless fonts over here on Creative Fabrica. I have a membership. So um, look, it says 24,341 fonts. That's crazy. Um, I have a membership for Creative Fabrica, which means that any fonts I wanna download, I get for free. So I'll go over all that at the end of the video. I know that's not the point of this video, but that's where I get my fonts. Okay, so here I am. I got this font and I downloaded it to my computer, so now it's in Inkscape. Okay, so I've got my word typed in. Um, I need to come up here and select this arrow because it's going to change my menu. See all these menus that I have up here? When I select my arrow, they change. And the whole point of this is I need to lock my screen up. Come and click this little lock button, and then you can resize your word to however big or small you want it. If you don't lock it, when you resize it, let me show you, it can like get all funky. But if you lock it, it won't do that. So make sure you lock your, your screen. Okay, so um, the color. I had a little rose uh, rose gold, rose gold foil pattern that I had put in. Um, I will show you how to do that at the end if you want to see how to put in patterns. But just to change the color, um, you know, you just come down here and you click whatever color you want it to be. So we're going to go with this pink right there for now. Okay. And then what did I have on my invitation? I had, it's about to get. Okay. So I'm going to come back to my text. Then I'm going to click in my screen to get the cursor. 
it's about to get, but I don't want it in that font. You'll notice that the last thing you chose is what it's going to do. The last font I chose is what it used. The last color I chose is what it used. So I'm going to come up here now. I'm going to change the font. What did I do? I think I did this. Okay, that's a little big, and I need to um, shrink it down, but I, I don't have any handles to shrink this. So I'm going to come click my little arrow again. Then I can move it. Now I've got my handles. I can shrink it down and move it around wherever I want it. Okay. Um, so for the invitation I had, I wanted this to be white. Uh, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to turn it white and it's going to disappear. <laughs> but it's because it's white and my background is white. Okay, so that, that's done. That's my design. It's about to get wild. Now I need to save this as a PNG. I need to drag a box around everything so that it's all selected. And then I need to make it fit within my page here. Okay, so it's all there on my page now. So to get this as a PNG image with no backgrounds, I'm going to come over here to Export PNG. You want Drawing. If you do page, you're going to get like a whole page in here with a bunch of um, blank space on either side. If you do selection, you might only get wild and you might only get um, it's about to get. If you do drawing, you're going to get anything that you have on this page and that's what we want to do. So export PNG, drawing. Then you need to tell it where to export this thing to. Let's call it wild and I want to put it on my desktop save. Then come and hit export. Okay. If I close that down, that is going to be on my desktop. So there it is. Yep. I promise that's it. <laughs> and again, you can't see that um, it's about to get because it's white. But obviously when I put it into this program here, it's there. Um, so let me show you how to get that foil, that pattern or texture. And it doesn't have to be a foil. It can be anything you want it to be. Let me get rid of that. Come back into Inkscape. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn this black just so that I can see it. I don't want to lose it. And I'm going to enlarge my screen a little bit. Okay. So if I want patterns or um, you know something in here that's not just a plain color, I'm going to have to import digital paper, basically. Digital paper again. Come over here to Creative Fabrica. Check this out. Um, like this one. Let's see here. Where did it go? This cheetah print that I put on here, that's digital paper that I got from Creative Fabrica. It was this pack right here. I downloaded and I got all of these digital papers um, for free because of my subscription. Um, let me see here. I'm not exactly sure which pack I used for the, oh, it was this one. This was the pack I used for the rose gold digital paper. Um, so I just downloaded that and I got it on my computer. So if I come over here back to Inkscape, I'm going to import this digital paper now so that I can put the pattern in my word wild. So file, import, and you're going to go find your digital paper. I have a folder for mine because I have a lot of it. Rose gold foil, and this was the one I used. Um, sorry, double click it, it will go in, or you can click it once and then you can click open. You always want to leave all of this like it is. Don't mess with it. Embed from file, none. Don't change anything on there. Just click OK. OK, so there's my digital paper. You want to make sure that it is big enough to cover your word. And it is. So I know that it's going to work. It's big enough to cover the word I have. Select your paper. Come to Object, Pattern, Object to Pattern. 
You're not going to see anything happen, but what that did was turn this paper into a pattern that you can then use to fill your word with. So if I click my, let me make this bigger so y'all can see. If I click my word here and I come over to fill and stroke, you might not have it over here. I've got some quick, um, quick buttons set up. You might have to come up here to fill and stroke. Either way, you're going to get this same menu. Okay, so you're on fill right now. That is the fill of your word, the color, the, the inside of it. You want to turn your fill to a pattern, which is this little button here. Click it. And there you go. There's the rose gold foil that we uploaded, and it just filled my word wild with that pattern. Simple, simple, simple. I can delete this now. Um, so yeah, that's all there is to that. And then if I wanted to export this again, export PNG, drawing, export as, name it whatever we want, save and export. And you're done. You can put that file where you want it and then you can use it any way you want to use it. Um, I will say, these are just PNG images. These are, you can use for print then cut. You can use for invitations. You can use for anything that you want to print. This is not a cut file. Don't think that you can, you know, put this into Cricut or into Silhouette and it will cut. It won't read it. Um, you can make SVGs in Inkscape and it's awesome and I love it. But this is just a PNG for you. All right. Well, that's all I have today, guys. Um, thanks. We'll see you next time.